Annyeonghaseyo Yorubun and welcome back to my channel and today is a very special day because after 1 million years I will be doing again another travel vlog and this time I will be going to Manila yes so I am currently here in Davao International Airport and I will now be uh, getting inside so I'll be sharing to you later the process in getting inside the airport and hopefully makatulong ang blood medicine. This is the entrance getting inside the airport. So the airport is undergoing a renovation right now. Normally, we used to get inside there but it is just a key. So this is what the airport looks like now. So this is the area for Cebu Pacific. So there's a renovation here and also there. So this is what uh, Davao, Davao International Airport looks like now. Still the same, but there are some renovations ongoing. Yeah. Upon going inside, um, the guard only asks for the ticket. So you cannot go inside the airport if you don't have a plane ticket. So this is the uh, way for the domestic uh, flights. And then on to the left side is the way for the international departure. And since I already um, checked in last night through the application of Air Asia, so I already have my e-boarding pass, so I don't have to go through there. So the next thing that I will do is go through that area. So I will now be presenting my boarding pass and valid ID. And I am now done there. So the lady guard just checked if my ID coincided with my uh, boarding pass. So at the end that it is a departure area. So that's where I will be waiting for the plane. So it's still 3.49 so I have to wait for a long time. And then Davao International Airport. Karun. So going to the departure area, so the same place, probably something new. And I am now going to the gate lounges 6, 7, and 8. Yeah, so not so many people, but... Pacific, so I think this is not the boarding gate of Air Asia. City Park on Adiri. Yeah, I think so. So they have their charging stations, so you can use it for free. So I think that announcement is for me. So Air Asia just announced um, where we are going to depart. So I think it's gate four. So I'm now looking for gate four here in Davao International. Yeah. So looking for gate four. So those. Uh, that's the way for gates five, six, seven, and eight, and VIP lounge. And this is for the other gates one two three and four so let's now go there
So that is gate lounge number 5. And that is gate lounge number 4. So this is where we are going to depart. So no people yet. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. So, wala pang uban mo. Um, I don't know where uh, I should be going, what gate, because I checked in through the web or through their application, so it's not indicated there kung anong gate. Basta, uh, it was just recently announced that we will be departing through gate number four so irrigation so yeah so let's wait and see but just but as you can see um, there are only few passengers here so we will be waiting for that and it was indicated in my e-boarding pass that the boarding is 5 30 the scheduled flight is 6 in the afternoon so gate lounges one two and three i think are reserved for international flights yeah And I'm um, well waiting for my flight since the boarding time is still 5.30 and it's 4 p.m. I'm here in Skyboard and I ordered a uh, spicy ramen because I'm so hungry. I am now here in the boarding area waiting for our plane. After our flight was delayed, we are now finally going to Manila. We are now finally boarding. So time check, it's 6.30. Morning! That's the plane of Air Asia. <laughs> so if you happen to arrive in Davao on an international flight, this is where you will be arriving. So after this one is the immigration area. So we are now going to like finally after more than three years. Because I kinda naman tayo na airplane. Eleven a.m.
power airplane. That is the arrival area. of the terminal manager and I am now finally here in Manila since I don't have any check-in baggage I don't have to wait for it so I'll just go directly to the exit so they are still waiting for their check-in This is now the exit going outside of the airport. So and I'm finally going out. So I'm still uh, trying to find a way na makapunta ako sa Indomuros na mura lang yeah so I guess I don't have any option but to ride a taxi and medyo mahal siya so uh, if that's the case I'll be trying grab taxi for the first time in my entire life so this is the uh, outside portion of Naia Terminal 4 So I am still waiting for a taxi here in the regular taxi So hopefully mura lang siya see that the style of the hotel is really very old so this I think is the second floor so my room is up here <coughs> Now get inside. Ta-da! So this is the room. 
And after one million years, I am now finally here in the hotel where, where I booked here in Intramuros. And the name of the hotel is White Night Hotel Intramuros. And uh, one of the reasons why I chose this hotel is because of the fact that it is located in Intramuros. And um, I happened to see some of the pictures outside of the hotel and it looks like you are really in vegan. Yes. So anyways, just to summarize everything, um, I just would like to share yung mga experiences ko kanina while traveling from Davao to Manila. And there's this one thing that I could say. Parang wala na talagang pandemic. Why? Because the guard in the uh, airport there in Davao did not ask for any proof of vaccination. Uh, but just in case, um, pinipare ko naman yung aking vaxer PH. So I printed it out uh, just in case the guard will look for it. Uh, but fortunately, hindi na hinanap. So when I got inside the airport in Davao, all she asked was the ticket, the printed ticket, and of course your ID. I know, or just the, I know, just that ticket. And when you get inside, normally you would go to the airline where you book your ticket, and then mag check in ka. However, in my case, I already checked in through the app of Air Asia. So I made use of their app and yeah, after that, you will be given a an e-boarding pass. So what you're going to do with that is you will just print it out or have it soft copy. But uh, in my case, feeling ko lang mas less hassle if you will just print it out compared to having a having it soft copy because you can never tell, baka malobat yung cell phone mo or something. So just to be safe, you should print it out. So, hindi mo na kailangang uh, pumila dun sa airline where you book your ticket. So, akit ka na sa taas dun sa domestic na departure area. And, yeah. So, pagdating ko dun, um, chinek ulit yung ticket ko at saka yung ID ko. Yes. So, punta ka na lang din dun sa uh, departure. And of course, during the boarding, once again, they will be checking this time your boarding pass. So since um, I have had my e, e boarding pass, so yun lang yung pinakita ko. But for those who had their web uh, check in here in the airport, so they presented the the one that was printed by the airline. And pagdating mo naman sa aeroplano to check ulit kung saan yung seat mo so uh, uh, para naman na tulungan ka ng uh, flight attendant yeah so it was a hassle free and very smooth uh, ride um, aside from the fact na I'm not feeling well kanina hindi ko talaga na kaya like sumuka talaga ako kanina sa Davao airport but after that, okay na yung pakiramdam ko. So, kailangan ko na talagang ilabas yung mga dapat ilabas. So, anyways, um, I am already here in the hotel where I am uh, uh, staying, where I booked. And um, uh, I arrived here through a taxi. So, nung umexit ako sa Naiya Terminal 4, uh, naglakad ako ng konti tapos hinanap ko yung lane uh, yung linya ng para sa mga regular taxi so I could have um, booked a grab but um, nung nakita ko sa app na yung babayaran ko from Naiya Terminal 4 up to Intramuros is more or less 300 pesos so nagtanong ako doon sa mga regular taxi uh, and true enough, mura lang talaga siya because from here to, uh, from there, sana iya terminal for up to here in the hotel, I only uh, paid 235 but yung binigay ko is 250 para naman tips kasi mabait si kuya driver. So buti naman, walang nangyari sa akin, I arrived here safe and I am so excited for my adventures tomorrow. So, and um, I guess that's all for today's vlog. Annyeong!